Let us understand a very simple and effective strategy to integrate trigonometric functions. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to our series on integration. If you are beginning to learn the techniques for integration, then my videos can be very helpful. Follow us on this series. This time we are taking up trigonometric functions. We have three questions, which is question number one integrate 2 over 1 plus psi cos 2x dx. Question 2, integrate square root of 1 minus cos 2x dx. And then we need to evaluate the integral of cos square x dx. Consider this to be your beginning of learning how do we integrate when trigonometric functions are involved. Now for such functions, we need to have some trigonometric skills and we'll use the basic formula to simplify and then use the rules to integrate. So for all three of them, double angle formula is required to simplify the given expression. Cos 2x, you know, is 2 cos square x minus 1 and is also equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. Now, this is a very important formula and you'll use many times while integrating with functions which involve trigonometric functions, right? So, now, you can actually simplify the given expressions in all the three cases using the given double angle formula and integrate them one by one and then look into my suggestions. I hope that helps. Let's begin with the very first one, which is we need to integrate 2 over, let me rewrite, 1 plus cos 2x dx. Now, cos 2x is 2 cos square x minus 1, and therefore, we could replace it with 2 cos square x minus 1, right? So, see then what happens. So, we have 2 over 1 plus 2 cos square x minus 1 dx. So, why did we use this particular formula, not the other one? Since it was 1 plus, right? Now, you see minus 1 and plus 1 becomes 0. And what do you get? Well, we get a very simple expression, which is 2 over 1 and minus 1 cancel, 2 cos square x. Do you see the beauty? dx. Now, 2 and 2 cancel, and therefore, we have integral of 1 over cos square x dx. Now, 1 over cos square x is secant square x. You know the integral of secant square x, which is tan x. Get the idea. And of course, these are indefinite integrals. So, we add c to it. So, definitely, that makes it very simple. So, the major strategy here is to reduce the given trigonometric expression using the identities. And this is a very common application. And therefore, I have taken three of these examples. So, I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? In case you really want to learn more, you can always send an email on the given address or check our website for the latest updates. Now, let us practice by solving the next one, which is integral of square root of 1 minus cos 2x. Now, you see 1 minus cos 2x is involved. So, in this case, which formula should you use? That is always a major question. So, I think that should be better, right? Why are we choosing that? Have a look at it. When we say that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x, 
it means 2 sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x. Makes sense. So, 1 minus cos 2x is 2 sin square x within the radical square root. What will it be? Right? So, you get the idea. So, very simple substitution. So, once again, let us start with the given question which is 1 minus cos 2x dx and reduce it using this particular formula, right? So, 1 minus cos 2x is indeed 2 sin square x dx. Now, sin square x square root will give you absolute value of sin x. So, we can write this as square root 2 sin x dx. Makes sense? And now, we can find the integral. So, integral will be integral of sin x, which is minus cos x plus c, right? So, you could write this as minus square root 2 cos x plus c. Isn't that simple? So, if you work like this, integration is going to be very easy. So, we are taking baby steps to understand the whole logic and soon we will be solving very difficult integral questions. Now, here is the third question for you, which is we need to integrate cos square x dx this time. Now, what is cos square x? You can see this and now let us look into our formula once again. So, we have cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1. So, you can write down that 2 cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x or cos square x is equal to half of 1 plus cos 2x, correct? Simple. So, we get a double angle formula. So, we have done the reverse thing now. So, let us rewrite the given integral which is cos square x dx for us. So, that is equal to as we just worked it out half times 1 plus cos 2x which you could also write as integral of half dx plus integral of cos 2x dx. Clear? That is simple. So, we can now find the integral integral of half is half x plus integral of cos 2x is half of sin 2x, right? Plus, of course, the constant c. Do you see with that, we actually found the integrals of all the three without any problems. So, the only strategy which we used was simplify using the trigonometric identities and then work out the solution. So, I hope you understand and appreciate this, right? So, these are the three solutions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. And in case you want to learn from me directly, send an email to this address. Thanks for your time and all the best.